going to start by creating the drawings 1 and drawing 2. I'm going to do this in the same file, but I first want to start by creating a new document. And I want to title this whatever these are, so I'm going to call them intro orthos and start from there. If you're prompted to set up your units, all of these are in IPS. To do this, I can go to these three bars at the top, workspace unit, and I want to set it to inches. If I was in metric, I would switch here. Looking at this, I could start on the front, the top, or the right plane and draw a rectangle and then extrude it. If I were to go from the top, I see a six by four rectangle. So I left click on the top plane and then I could press sketch up here. Or I could right click on this plane and choose a new sketch. Or right click on the plane in the feature tree and choose new sketch. They all do the same thing. Once I start my new plane, or sorry, new sketch, it will tell me right here I'm in sketch one, it tells me the plane I'm working on. I like to go normal too. From here I want to hide these planes, but leave the origin on as I want that as a point to draw from. When you select any of your tools, well, they're all going to be across the top. You could also use shortcuts. So the corner rectangle is G. A lot of the times I'll press the letter S and find the most commonly used tools. When you select your cursor or select your tool, if you left click on the origin and then pull your mouse, you'll start to see roughly the size of the box in the direction you're drawing. And you left click to drop this. Right now, my cursor is set to draw another rectangle. But you could also see the numbers next to it. And if I move my mouse back and forth, that brings me to which one I want to type in. I don't have to click again. I can just type. So I type 6, I press Enter, and it automatically switches me to my other dimension. 4, enter. I'm pressing escape to cancel and double clicking my roller ball to do a zoom to fit. But let's say you messed up and didn't get your dimensions. There's a dimension tool right over here. The shortcut is a D. And what you would do is then just left click on the line, left click to drop it, type in your measurement, and enter. Then left click again. As I said before, you're in the tool until you press escape to cancel it. I'm going to exit my sketch and to show you here. Here's my sketch. It's in my feature tree. I need to take this and extrude it. So what I do is select extrude. You're then prompted with the extrude tool in this box to select the sketch or the face. You could go over here and left click on it or you could left click on it from your feature tree. Both work. And in this case, I'm going to do a blind distance of 2. Shift 7 brings me to my isometric view. This looks exactly like what I intended on creating. These tabs along the bottom are each part that you created. I'm going to right click on here and just rename this as number 1, as this is the first one. Well, number two looks identical. I could duplicate this one and make an edit and do an extrude cut. Or I could draw it out on its own. I'm going to choose to do an extrude cut and take out this 2x2 two two square from this corner. So what I'm going to do is right click on the tab that says number one that I just renamed and find duplicate. right here it creates a copy of number one. So I'm going to left click on this tab to switch to it. So now I'm working on copy of one. Well I'll rename this to number two. I did that again by right clicking, renaming, and typing in my measurement. So I'm going to zoom out, orbit around a little bit, press shift seven just to confirm that I'm in the right orientation. Well I need to cut this square out. I could draw a two by two square here, here, or here. I'm going to go from the top. I find that the easiest to visualize. And select sketch. I like to go normal too. So right click, view normal to sketch mode. Well, here 
I have a 2 by 2 square. So I'm going to select my corner rectangle. I'm also going to turn on the show constraints before I choose that. And now left click the corner rectangle. I'm going to snap to my corner. And you're going to see that symbol appear right below my mouse. That is your coincident constraint. This is telling me that it is in fact snapping coincident to that corner. So now I left click and I drag. Those are all of my constraints that I just turned on. This tells me it's coincident to the edge, coincident, those are parallel, coincident, coincident, so on. So I'm going to start to type my dimensions now. Two, enter, two, enter. I never left click a second time. Last time I had you exit the sketch to extrude. You don't have to do that. You could stay in your sketch and choose extrude. Well, this automatically assumes I want to do an addition to this. I don't. I want to choose Remove, and that will cut through. My distance is blind. You could type in 2, but what I like to do is switch to Through All, because if I were to adapt the size of this part later on and it's set to Through All, it will always cut Through All. In the next tutorial, I'll create a few more of these parts.